John McKay here, uh, another backstabber uh, testimonial. Um, I'm going to have to do so many of these. I got an email from someone uh, today, and I want to, or yesterday, and I want to uh, thank you for sending this in. Uh, Kim, not believe that. Uh, First of all, I'm doing your own Private Wealth Academy. That's from Zach Miller is running this. He used to work with me um, and, and help me uh, with marketing. And before I knew Zach, uh, before he you know, offered to help me, i.e. steal my copyrighted work and open his own school based on you know the school I, I run and what I done and all the information I did before he stole all my work. How do I know Zach? Well, I helped him, Zach, and his mother and father for free for seven years. I helped them save their home from, from being seized in foreclosure. Their home, is, their home was in uh, Sarasota, Florida. I did it for free for seven years. Never got any paper from them from doing that. And then after that, Zach offered to help me. He helped me for a very short time. I he put me in a whole bunch of debt uh, for marketing, which didn't help me at all. And then uh, eventually, he got all my documents and stole everything and opened Private Wealth Academy. And now he sent out emails. He's, it's not just enough that he stole everything. Now he puts everything out against me uh, and lying about me. I mean, a guy doesn't even have a college degree. You follow? No college degree, no experience except for stealing my copyrighted work. That's the only thing that Zach has. Now he's talking about all a bunch of myths about he sent it out emails to his email list. Uh, first of all, he stole my entire email list and emails people still from Liberty 8 Academy. Yeah, no, he stole everything. <laughs> he stole he stole all the testimonials. He stole all my copyrighted work. He stole my whole email list. He stole everything. Everything. This is why prices have to go up at Liberty 8 Academy. Because of these thieves are ubiquitous. There's so many of them that work with me that have stolen my work and are lying about me. So many of them. Uh, and now he's talking about you could get going to jail, okay, by using my work. I mean, can you imagine? This email was written by Paula F. Okay, no real name, made up name. Uh, just all this bunch of bullshit about me. You can read it if you want. I'm really not going to bother reading it because it's all a bunch of lies from a liar that stole my work. And he literally is calling it a bulletproof trust. I have bulletproof trust copyrighted on, on uh, copyright.gov. It's just unbelievable. He's, he sends out this email, never signs his email, never uses his name, nothing like that, right? It talks about me. It's just absolutely that he sells corporate credit secrets. He, he's not just stealing my trust as copyrighted. He's telling you, he steals every course I've ever made and the email list, and then writes everyone that I'm evil. <laughs> Talk about the purest evil dude you're ever going to meet is Zachary Miller. And I'm going to sue him, and and uh, I'm going to take away everything in his life. I'm going, I'm going to have to, you know, everything that I do works for people and has right along. That's why everyone steals it. Why is he writing an email about my work not working when he stole it and bases his whole business on my copyrighted work? It's good enough for you to steal, and now you're talking evil about me. It's unbelievable. When you go to their website, blah, 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 blah. No names on the whole thing. No, no. Unbelievable. He finally has started to get, you know, here's Rod, right? The Bulletproof Trust, this is this is literally, he stole my name, Bulletproof Trust. I used that for my trust name for a while. He stole that. Then he literally has stolen my testimonials off of YouTube. He stole the testimonials and puts them on his website. Can you imagine the amount of evil in this suit? No, 
It is. A, so you're like, who? Oh, Zachary Billy. Yeah, there's something he put out here. He's uh, he's a professional uh, marketer. See, here it is, Zachary Miller. That's the guy right there, right? 888, you know, he never puts out his name. Guy lives outside of Atlanta, Georgia, uh, and I'll be coming for him. Yeah, and I'll be letting his family know that this is what he done to me, too. So I have to go study law school for four years, get my bar card, then I'm going to destroy Zachary Miller's life. And he's just one in a long, long, long list of people who were doing this backstabbing to me on purpose. You stole all my work, you stole my email list, you stole the testimonials from a website, and then you say, my stuff doesn't work in an email. Make up your mind. What, what's the, what do you mean? You stole everything from me that you do, and now you go back and tell everyone bullshit about me. This is my life. Okay, the, no good deed goes uh, unpunished. You know, this is what backstabbers that sell their soul to the devil do. Zachary Miller, one of the most evil individuals in a body. Zachary Miller, completely possessed by the devil, just pure evil, stealing my copyrighted work. Zachary Miller. I don't need to go. I'm, there's such a long list of these people doing this evil stuff to me that I'm not really going to put a lot of time into Zachary Miller because I do have to do this series of backstabber testimonials so that people are aware of all these evil people out there that have stolen my work and if you go to them you're going to actually probably end up in giant financial trouble because the loophole is right this is for Christians this is the loophole this is for Christians this only works right if you have a convention if you have a pact with God the IRS only gives this tax exemption for that. It doesn't do it for another reason. And Zach, who stole my work, pure evil, hypocrite, sold his soul to the devil, he's not doing this under God. You, you can't do that. You can't do pure evil 24-7 and say you're religious, you're with God. That does, it doesn't work that way. You can't get someone from something evil and have it not be evil. This is stolen. This is copyrighted, stolen work. Okay? Pure evil. I worked for Zach for years after I saved his family's house for from foreclosure. I helped for seven years. They lived in their home. And they, they decided voluntarily to leave at the end of those seven years. That's why it, they're not in their home because they decided to leave. That's why. My work was still being successful. They just still decided to leave, but that's their choice. I understand, whatever, you know. They've been there for a lot of years, and so they moved on. Uh, that's fine. I got nothing against, you know, his mother or father, uh, you know, except for they taught Zach apparently, you know, to be evil in his life. I mean, you can't really blame the parents uh, for Zach being evil. Zach is making a willful choice as an adult to be evil. That's what he's doing. And, and uh, his, his wife, Sasha, too. She does this work as well in the background. She's choosing to be just as evil. I'll be going after both of them. I'll be going after Sasha and Zach, both of them. Both of them, pure evil. Stole my work on, on purpose. And I'll be going after not just Zach, Sasha, too. Oh, yeah, both. Both. How do I know his wife, right? Yeah, I know. I'm going after both of them. Both of them. Uh, they're on the hit list. There's so many others. Here's just one more video. Backstabbers, Private Wealth Academy.